Okay, so you have a question on scientific notation here, and we're finding the product of 12 and 4.2 times 10 to the 6th. So when we multiply this, we can think of 12 times 4.2 times 10 to the 6th. And we can use the associative property. We're multiplying everything, so we can regroup. I can multiply these two numbers first. If you think about what that's going to be, I mean, you can always see the answer here. It's going to be 50.4. But let's just break it down. Um, quickly, you can do 12 times 4 to get 48. But we're multiplying 12 by 4.2. So if I think of 12 times 0.2, well here, this is just like 2 times 12, which is 24. Except it's 10 times smaller. The basic reasoning, of course, is that 0.2 is not 2. It's 2 divided by 10. That's 0.2. So instead of 2 times 12 being 24, 0.2 times 12 is 2.4, 10 times smaller and 2 times 24. There's a nice connection there. Anyway, so here if we add these two together, right, we get what? Well, we get 50.4 times 10 to the 6. Now, this is the correct value, except we want to write it in scientific notation. Our first number is too large, so how can we change that? So what can we do? Well, the first thing I would do is make this number 50.4 smaller, and you're always going to be multiplying or dividing by a power of 10. So to, do, to make this number smaller, I would divide by 10, or I'm going to think of that as multiplying by 1 over 10. Remember, multiplication is much more flexible than division, so rephrasing division and multiplication will give you a lot more freedom. However, now this thing is 10 times smaller, so I'm going to balance that by multiplying it by 10. The basic idea, if you multiply and divide by 10, your number it remains unchanged. Think about it, you have $5.00. You, let's say you have $100, you divide it into 10 to get $10, that's the division part, and then you rescale it back up. Multiply it by 10 and you're back to 100. Nothing has changed. That's the idea right here. And because we're multiplying everything, we can regroup. So I'm going to say let's multiply these two first, 1 tenth and 50.4, 50, 50 and then let's multiply these two together. So 10 to the 6th times 10 is 10 to the 7th. 1 tenth times 50.4 is the same thing as 50.4 divided by 10, or 5.04. And there we have it, our, our number in scientific notation. The answer is 4. Thanks.